is September 13, 2000 year, 2014. Gosh. All right. And we have, um, hello, we have, hey, Ellie. Hey, Dan. Hey, Hayan. Say hi. Hello, guys. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good afternoon. Uh, hey, Sabrina. Hello. How's everybody doing today? Hello. Speba. Speba. I never met Speba before. Hey, Taylor. Nice to see your face. Hi, Speba. Where are you from? Oh, uh, oh, that's Barbara. Barbara. This is Barbara. Hey, yeah. Speba Barbara. Yeah, it's. <laughs> I right. can't see that far. All right. Now you'll be Barbara Speba. <laughs> All right, and we have Barbara with another Barbara with us. Welcome, Barbara. Thank you. Um, Thank you. What brought you here? <laughs> Curiosity. <laughs> How did you find us? Um, I'm friends with some people that Jimmy actually is associated with. Um, he goes to some of the uh, movie nights. You go to the movie nights. Oh, Gary Gary and and oh, get his girl. And, um, and yeah. I saw it online. I'm always looking at. Oh, very the good. The different things online. Very good. Uh, so she found us online and through my Reiki uh, share uh, people, uh, Gary and Diane Snyder, mm -hmm. they, but they do much more than just Reiki. They do uh, meetups and all There's kinds of... There's a lot of, of echo going on. Echo? Echo? Uh, all right. A whole we'll lot of echo. I guess I like it open, that's why. Echo will disappear. I guess, yeah. Is how, it, how, is, it, how is it now? It's it's good. It, when the mic is open, it happens. Is it good now? Now is muted. They can tell. Is somebody somebody else when they when they're not speaking turn off their mics because it's um, causing the feedback through the different channels. Can, can you answer? Is it good now? Yep. Or yes. very nice. So yes, we have to have some mics uh, muted for the echo to, to go the way. So what do we have? We have tons of questions. Some of them I would have on my phone, but I need to find them. And um, uh, if you can find other questions, like members of the welcome team, you might have received some questions from people. So uh, if you would read those when appropriate, that would be great. Also, yeah. Max, I have a few about. I have one about hybridization and uh, and and energy levels and things like that. I don't know if that can be answered. Uh, who who is asking? Can you tell? Um, give me a minute. You can keep talking. I'll I'll get all back. Right. Okay. And I have several questions also. So all of those are best for the curve, but I guess uh, Lakesh and Pentium would also be good for answering those. And that's all I can say. Um, yes, there was a great session, so I asked a lot of questions there. Um, today we just invite whoever comes. Uh, dolphins are have a special invitation. Uh, dolphins and whales, if they come through, that would be a great event. Uh, we never spoke to elves. Elves are also invited. And other than that, whoever has a good positive message. Uh, lately, I'm kind of uh, staying away from reptilians, but if reptilians want to come, they're welcome, but not in my life. I want reptilians <laughs> out of my personal life completely. Uh, all right, but uh, otherwise, um, you know, if they have uh, something important to say, they are entitled to come through. And Takur is the most, uh, most needed because we have questions. Okay. I'll find them on my phone, and uh, uh, Sabrina, yes, if Takur comes through, I guess hybridization questions are fine. Keep yes, in mind that she's never been here before, so I don't know if. Oh, to, what's the name? Um, it's Kate. Um, Katie. Okay, so we'll see if if Tucker doesn't feel comfortable answering that. That's fine. Basically, we found that if people just write and then Lakesh Lakesh tries to answer, he's he's random basically. So keep in mind it can be random, but it can be it can be good. So uh, you you will see for yourself it, uh, if it fits what what you feel, then it's right. Uh, but if uh, if they know you, then it's much more precise. Like yesterday, I got very nice precise answers, and I was very happy about that. And uh, this precise answer, or and and the day before, and the precise answers 
I didn't prompt them in, a, in any way. So this was it's nice to get some confirmations when you don't tell them, but they tell you something that you know, or you find out just, just a little bit later. That's about it. Uh, Max, can we watch the video from last night on the Human Colony YouTube yeah, of page? Course. I'm sorry I'm behind publishing. I'm still uploading Thursday video, so, so there will be a video from Thursday and a video from Friday, yes. We, yes, it was great. I didn't even check the quality, but I hope it will be great, yes. Very good. All right. Jim, uh, thank you for being with us. Uh, we'll see you later. <laughs> okay. Let's see who comes. I'm, I'm asking to, to, to Kerr to come right now. Um, because it seems like there's a lot of questions for her, so um, if anybody wants anybody specific to come, let me know now so that when Takur leaves, maybe someone else can come. Anybody else have a request? Okay. Can we? I think. Kenji. Or a Yael Pentim yeah. is a Yael. Yeah, Pentim would be. Yael or, or an Essasani also would be. That would be Shell. Yeah, yeah Shell that would be good. Shell was with us last night and gave, I guess, a very interesting message. Yes. It was one of the best games performances. <laughs> yeah, Chakania, great. Chakani gave very in depth explanations on things, I guess. So. Um, but I, I'm going to bring to Kerr first, and we'll see if the others are available. Okay, hello, everybody. Do you hear me? Yes. yes. Who's there? Hayan. 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 Ha. Hayan's from Sweden. Namaste. Just uh, shaking Namaste. my mind. All right. All right. Oh, I wanted to announce before I do anything that there's. I'm going to be on Karen Newman's radio show tomorrow. What She's time? at from uh, Sunday from two to four p.m. She's out of uh, Denmark uh -huh. or Holland, but she's now in South Carolina right at the moment. Is she? Oh. But uh, so uh, from two to four tomorrow, I'll be on the Enlightenment Evolution Network with uh, Karen Newman. And you always have to say how to find you. Uh, the Enlightenment Evolution Network. Oh, that's I believe that's dot com uh, or dot org. Yeah, if you have to Google. Yeah, write down Enlightenment. It's yes, it's Rob Gothier's Enlightenment Evolution Network. And then you get lost. Enlightenment Evolution Network, Karen Newman. That would be the page. yes, yes. So right. two to four tomorrow. Two. Two p.m. in the afternoon Eastern Standard Time to Perfect. four. Four p.m. Did everybody get that? <laughs> yes, it okay. was recorded. They can look it up. Okay. to care. One moment. Namaste. 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 Hello. Muha. 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 
any announcements for us? I have no new announcements except to say no one has been taken to the colonies in real time yet. They are still working on a few last minute problems. It seems the pineal gland would be affected by in some people with a place to place transportation. We are working on that at this time. Are there questions for me today? I will start with a most burning question. Um, it is uh, a friend, uh, a real supporter who uh, wants to be anonymous. If you look up my emails, he is there. We have a uh, heated discussion for the last couple of days. So he's sort of once invites alien genetic infusion to fix his baldness. Yes. So he is really worried. He wants it's his choice. He wants his hair back. That his yes. genetics is messed up and he lost his hair. There was an, another physical problem. Uh huh. Yes. There was an there was a problem. The reason why he lost his hair was due to chemical induction. Mm -hmm. Chemical induction. Yes. Uh, by aliens or by humans? Humans. It caused a reaction in his system, and the hair loss was a result, a side effect, if you will. Was it military? I cannot tell you this. But I can tell you that it was a chemical induction. So would uh, aliens consider helping him? He can help himself in many ways by the vitamins and minerals that he takes. But yes, aliens can help him with this, but he must understand that it is not 100% accurate. We do not know human physiology as well as we know our own and others. Do you understand that? Um, I believe aliens have technologies to help hair growth easily. You would think so. Yeah. Uh, we will try to help him. I know who this is. Players can change skin color. They can change shape. Why? This is with our physiology. Ah. But did he lose hair follicles or is just the hair? Uh, just hair? hair loss. Follicles are still intact. Oh, then I would recommend red light. Um, a red light can really help. Yes. At red this point, follicles are still intact, but the hair loss is temporary or was appear to be temporary but we can help so I also want to comment that this gentleman seems like he is uh, is illogical it might seem but uh, I would say many humans are like that they would work great in rigid structure like army or corporation or yes. other rigid human structures I so, understand what you mean yes so I would Oh, and somehow he he joined us. He became a light worker, and he's excited to be with us in many ways. And we don't offer him a rigid structure, so he's a little bit lost. I guess we need to figure out how to accommodate people who are who would be great in rigid structure, but how would they work in this loose grassroots society? Each creates his own universe, so he can create a structure within your structure. Uh huh. This is recommended for him to feel comfortable and secure. Uh -huh. But I can create something for him mentally ah. that can help him create his own structure. However, he would have to give permission for that. Permission? Because I cannot do it without his permission. His permission, yes. Uh huh. Thank you very much. Our next question was very short from Liney. Yes. She got her hybrid, new hybrid uh, offspring, child, yes. and she, she asks what is their uh, race origin of this offspring. She was never told. That's what she asked today. They are Yale. Yale. Congratulations, Lani. Uh, I invite more questions. Uh, Ellie, it's next. Hello. Elena. Hello, Dr. Wuha. 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 Wuha.
Ja. Wakata. I go on with ya. Victor, many blessings. I want to ask you today about the 12 stargates. Stargates that are located around the Earth. Yes. These stargates were supposed to be activated 2012. Yes. And help humans ascend out of the planet. Yes. What is your view of this and do you have any um, anything to do with the stargates? Do you work with this kind we of energy? We do not do anything. We do not have any attachment to the stargates. However, they correlate with the crystal skulls. <laughs> The crystal skulls, each one activates one of the stargates. When put together, they can be activated simultaneously. But at this time, the skulls have not been activated because you not have found the activation sequences. Do you understand? So your stargate system is not yet active. However, it could have been active at 2012. But for some reason, there is a slight delay in the activation of this system. I believe all of the crystal skulls have been found. Is there a 13th crystal skull, number yes, 13? there is. And it has a, a separate purpose. It is uh, actually the controller. Thank you. Um, I want to ask you also about 25th of March 2007, where the prana seat of the sun had been closed by uh, negative extraterrestrials. This it had mm -hmm. continue. This had influenced a gamma burst from the sun, and um, by by today, how is the gamma burst influencing the the planet? The gamma burst along with the burst from the center of the galaxy that happened on 12-21-12 has affected the Earth in a great way. The gamma burst has actually nullified some of the effects of the, in the galactic burst. However, you're still seeing a much weather and seismic activity on your planet that is greater than it should be at this time. This is also due to the axis being off three degrees. So you are in a state of protection with many things. This is one. Do not worry about the gamma burst. It has already been dissipated to the point where it is non-effective any longer. Even though it was a helpful effect in some ways, it is not working at this time. Is the information you received aligned with that? Uh, I, I cannot uh, say I received such information, so I, you are the only information I have right now. Ah, I see. I thought perhaps maybe you had other information because this information is on the web, on your web in some places, but it's not easy to find. It has not come to me yet. Very good. It is all right. Just take the information that I give you and use it uh, internally and think about the there has been two great solar flares from your son which we are helping with you as well they will affect your television and radio and things of that nature however it will not be any more it will not be devastating in any way shape or form uh, last question to occur is are the 12 places where the stargates are located a places where first contact can be made, as you said, at 12 places on Earth simultaneously. There will be, there is some correlation with that. Yes, a very brilliant deduction, actually. The stargates are being uh, channeled or processed for that kind of introduction. Good luck with your work, Tekur. Many blessings. Thank you, Elena. Hello, Tucker. This is Hayam. Hayam. Um, yeah. Namaste. Namaste. Just one quick follow-up. 
Yes. Um, the star date associated with uh, the wars may that be the the reason behind some of the wars, like in Middle East. At one time, they were associated with war, but they are not at this time. They are not even activated at this moment. So it wouldn't be the reason why why there is war, that they are fighting over those places. They are... There is war for many reasons in that area, stemming back thousands of years. They cannot come to an agreement because each of them has a dogma that says they are the only ones that are correct, and they cannot accept anyone else having any correctness. So they, they continue to war because they do not believe in each other's dogma, and their dogma separates them from one another in entirely. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. And therefore, but there are 12 tribes, the 144,000. Have you heard of them? The 12 tribes, yes. They will come into play shortly. Is that the 12 Israelite tribes? They're real tribes, yes. The Shiite, the Islams, the, you can understand where they're coming from. The Christians, the... Islam, uh -huh. the Jewish, they will all come into alignment, but they will not agree, but they will have to align in some way. Wonderful. But they will not agree, but this is not okay. yet. There will be some time before this happens. Okay. But I cannot tell you any more because it is not of the near future right now. Understand. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I next. Sneak, can I sneak before the? I will sneak before the line. Uh, there is a question which I think can go for. It, there is some tragic moment in it, which I don't know if it's tragic or not. In any way, um, there is a comment by Manda M A N D A on uh, on the website, and it says, "Dear Tucker, am I a hybrid?" And what happened to Henry? Why did he leave? Do you know who is it? All right, thank you. Manda. Furata. You are hybrid with Liren. You will learn the Liren language one day. Henry. One moment. It was his choice to leave. Although he was not forced, he chose to for a certain reason, because the future was about to change for him. That is all I can say. Thank you much. Does this make sense to Manda? Uh, there is no connection. She cannot answer at the moment. Know that it is well with Henry that he has left and that he thinks about you often. Thank you much. Wonderful. Please continue. Sabrina. Yes, uh, Prana was next. Hello, Tucker. This Wuha. is Prana. Yes. Wuha. Wuha. Since you brought up the solar flares, I have a question regarding that. Recently, I read that an Andromedan biosphere was placed in between the sun and the earth, and the biosphere is almost the size of planet Venus. Yes. My, my question is, is that true? And if it is true, the second question is, shouldn't we see the shadow of such a large planet, you know, the shadow casting on our Earth. You will not see the shadow. It is made of an energy that is not detectable. However, yes, it is actually larger than Venus at this point. When you first received the information, it was about the size of Venus. It is now twice the size of Venus. 
and you will not see it. It will not cause any infraction because that would cause different things to happen on your planet that are not to happen. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I understand. What causes the ship to grow twice the size? They are building it as you see. It is, it is a creative force there for a reason. There is a solar flare coming that they will block. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. My uh, next question is regarding the dreams that I've been having for the past couple of days. Yes. And uh, it's, it's about my third eye. In my dream, I've been seeing with my eyes closed. And I saw a picture of uh, a black and white picture of something and I realized that it was, I felt it was me and my parents. So could you confirm that and what was or what's the reason behind me dreaming about my third eyes? Is there a message? Yes, there is a message. The symbolism of black and white. Things are being seen in a black and white way by your parents in some forms, which means that you're, when you see them in this light with them, you must speak them to them in a non-fourth dimensional manner. Do you understand? They do not understand your fourth dimensional side. You have a very strong fourth dimensional side, and they are aware of it. However, they cannot yet accept it. So continue to speak to them in black and white. Do you understand? Yes. And therefore, they will connect with the fourth dimensional through your third dimension because you will pull them up. Do you understand this? Yes. Very good. I am sorry, I did not ever meet you. Hi, I'm Barbara. Namaste, Barbara. Do you have Thank questions to Tucker? Mm -hmm. She is a I do have a question. Yes, um, I sense that. I, I wonder about um, the contacts I've had and my, my, some of my family have had with aliens. When was your contact? Do you remember? Um, through dreams since I was a child. Yes. Cool. Yes. You have had contacts. You've had visitations as well. You were never abducted. However, you were in a dream state when they came by to visit you. And therefore, you do have memories of them. They're vivid, more vivid than most. Yes. And yes, your family has also been visited. However, the memories that you have are more vivid than theirs. Interesting. Your, your memories are for a reason, and it's for the future, because you will become a part of the organization here and become part of the colony and there will be a purpose for you. Thank you. And you already feel that. Yes. You already feel a connection to the colony. I can sense this. I have another question. Um, yes. Um, was my son, uh, did he have, and also maybe myself, have any kind of an implant? One moment. Look at the, you are a candidate for an implant if you want one, but you do not have one at this time. If you would like to have one, you will have one. If you would like your son to have one, you can ask him permission. Okay, thank you. But it must be by permission only at this time. There has been... They have wanted to give you an implant, but they actually waited before there was a, a special reason for this and um, but they wanted you to give full permission they were afraid that you might not appreciate an implant without there's a, something in your personality that is private yes. therefore they did not well what would happen with an implant they just monitor your energy levels, and if you get any hybridization, if you ask for any, which there is a little in you already, they monitor that and see what effects it has on the human body, and they protect you from any ill effects of it. They also monitor the brain to see if there's any thoughts 
that are unlike hum human thoughts and things of this nature. And it, it comes behind the right ear in 95% of the cases, sometimes under the left arm, elbow, or under the left knee. But if you give permission, they will give you the implant. You may not even know when it comes. It is that unpainful. It does not have pain associated with it. Could my son have had one as a child? He could have, but you would have been felt invaded. Yes. So they did not. Thank you. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you. Next one is Steven. Steven. Wuha, Steven. Wuha. How are you? I am very well. And yourself? Good, good. Thank you. Uh, I was just wondering if there's any information, new information on me or my uh, hybrid child. And I'd also like to name uh, my child if it's uh, yes. appropriate at this time. What would be the name that you would want to name the child? I would want it to have my name as Stephen, S-T-E-V-E-N. Very good. It will be passed along. Thank you. And your child is doing well. Still in... One moment. There are so many children right now Oh, in English, in period, it is hard to keep track. And <laughs> some are being born before the end of the year at this point because of a, a large number of you put in for hybrid children at the same time. I can get you your information shortly. Okay, I appreciate it. And uh, just one more question. Uh, is there any way I can know my, uh, my dad's name? Your dad's name? Yes. One moment. I will see if it's permitted. All right, thank you. Usually you would have to find that on your own because that is the way of your world. All right. One moment, please, and I will see if it is permittable. Thank you. Have you not been able to find him? Uh, he's part of the Gert Fignere. I just don't know. Uh, no, I hadn't really been able to find him. Ah, yes. You have the alien father. Yes. That would be permitted. One moment. Thank you. Del Eve hyphenated D E L hyphen I V Del Eve. All right, D L hyphen I V. Correct. Oh, thank you so I much. You would put it because it is two pronunciations. It's not Del Eve. It's Del Eve. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, pass my. But thank you very much, to Kurt. You are welcome, Steve. Okay, hello. Next. Hello, hello, Tucker. I'm wondering about um, some being came in to be. I think it was Wednesday this week. Very strong being. Yes. Can you tell me who it was? It was not Kalish at that time. Kalish enters differently. However, the being that entered you was an Octorian because you do speak the language. They were checking things out about your personage to see why you haven't started channeling yet in a very pure way. Do you understand? Yes, they balance me. Yes, they did. Very much so. And they grounded you as well. I invite them to come in more. Doctorians. That was Slaka. And no more stay to you, Gabriel. Hakuna Matata to you. Next, who okay. is Sabrina? Yes, I um I have a few questions from other members, so I'll start from there. Um, there is a new member. Her name is Katie White. Yes. 
Um, she wanted to know, she says, can you please ask to her if she would like to say anything about, oh, no, 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 sorry. That was from Prana. He's here. Um, um, what is her vibration frequency level, and do I have any hybrid children? So let's start there. You are moving up. 3.8 is your vibrational level. You do not have any just time. that she had one more. But that is all right if it's not. Uh, Sabrina, Kathy is a, a great helper. She gave me a lot of support lately. I would uh, think her other questions are uh, justified. Would you like to read them or do, do should I? Wait, I have an, one more here. Yes, Sorry. I sense there was one more. Um, I have my sing to go letter being received. If I don't know what she means, but it's S I N G T O G O. Has it been received? Do you know what she means, no. Max? No, no, it, it, it is. Uh, yes, it is received. Your letter to sign up to go. She just misspelled it. Oh, yes. okay. Another, to go, yes. another letter was uh, last month, 22nd August, about 10. Uh, PM, uh, she saw you for at the southern sky. It said hello, and then there was some appearance in her house. Do you know what it was? They were saying hello back in the sense that they realized that she would have not been afraid. So they did do that. Many would be afraid to see such a thing, but they knew that she would not be that frightened and be accepting of it. So they were actually just letting her know that they were there. Uh, she said that she would feel very honored by galactic friends. She has galactic friends. She is aware of this in her heart and soul chakra of spirits. But they have not been revealed to her yet, but they will be shortly. Uh, her other question was, in 2012, the whole year, almost every night, when she dozed off to sleep, she felt like my, uh, her blanket would be was being sucked up that created a suction feeling around and she felt paralyzed. Is she taken to go anywhere as she has no recollection? Is there a message for her? They were doing experiments with her. There is something interesting about her physiology. I am not aware of what they were doing actually, but I am aware that they were. I will find out for her. Thank you. Another question was, in January, it's very funny, in January 2013, uh, who is that little E.T. that my cat escorted uh, it into my bedroom? It looks like a gray, like gray, very small. Uh, I term it as an alien baby. It came to lay down next to me and using its uh, slim long finger to tickle playfully on my side, on the side of my arm. I was feeling fear and paraly paralysis to move, but I managed to grab a pillow to hit it, and it disappeared. I woke up with a few, with no fear, though, uh, but happy. Wherever it is, I kindly pass on my apology. Interesting. I am not aware of who that is at this time, but I will find out for you. I am not aware that. Alien children are permitted to come into your visual path. However, it appears that an alien child or an alien of some sort has visited you and they found you playful. When you hit it with the pillow, they probably thought it was a playful thought. But I will check for you. One moment, I can maybe check on that now. Oh, yes. It was a tachyon creature. 
um, it is a creature from the future, and it was a child. And that is all I am permitted to say. Interesting. Please continue. That's all I have. Okay. There was also a question from Nitrous. Yes. He said, I was in a void of light, and I heard a voice that said to stay away from Bashar. The voice was not, not negative energy. I want to know why I was told this. Uh, and the... Mm, okay, yeah, that's it. He just repeated something. It was not an alien spirit that said this. It was a human spirit from the past. This spirit has not crossed over properly and is afraid of all aliens because of a one particular instance with their past lives. Therefore, it is not a negative creature. However, it does not trust the information of fifth dimension because it was hurt by that. That is why it gave you that message, but you do not have to listen to that message because it was actually a just a request, basically. They, they are afraid of these kinds of interactions. And you find Bashar very interesting and learn much from him. So it is a spirit and not an alien that told you that. Do you have any idea which of your relatives that have passed on would be fearful of information of this nature? Hmm. Um, it doesn't seem like he's online right now. I understand. Prana, send me an email. Through okay. I would like to hear the response, if there is any. From Nitrous. It, that yeah. was Nitrous. Yeah. Yes, okay. Nitrous. I'm I can sorry. I can send a text yeah. to him real quick. All right. I will tell Thank him. Thank you. That is what I meant. Someone send Prana, perhaps sends a new message to him. I'll send a text to him real quick and get the an answer for okay. you. Okay, so the others could join. Sabrina, what is your next question? Okay, um, I don't know if this could be answered by you at all. Um, um, since both my parents are dead and I have no idea what time I was born, and I was trying to do something with Jaguar, and I needed my the time I was born, but. It's. It would be on your birth certificate. However, it is not there, or you have no certificate. Right. The yeah. certificate is lost, and you cannot recover it. No. One moment, please. Not the year, just the time. <laughs> yes. I can give you a an approximation, but it would be within five minutes either direction. Okay. 4.53 a.m. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Now it's Hi. Caitlin. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Dakar. Yes. Um... This question might be a little off, a little odd, but... Um, oh, that is permitted. The question is, if something is going to happen to me soon, I have this feeling it has something to do with extraterrestrials. I feel like something big is going to happen. That's going to change my life or something of the sort. Yes you are creating your own universe and aliens are part of it but I cannot tell you what the event will be or when it will be but there is something coming I'm not sure it will be as large as you're expecting but it is definitely an eye-opener hmm so uh, something I would see physically or <laughs> 
you will know it when it occurs. Okay. And that is all I can tell you. To tell you more would give you too much information and your reaction would be slanted. <laughs> all right. Thank you. And my next question was, the other day I had a dream that I was outside my house and it was nighttime and I kept seeing these flashing lights and I seen like these red beams shooting from somewhere and I looked over and as soon as I received the energy from that, I was like, okay, this is odd. I was going to go over there and say, hey, because I thought it was the human colony extraterrestrials, but I knew it wasn't, so I just went inside, I'm like, okay, this is not right, is it? And then I seen these ape-like children that were blue and had shaggy hair, but their face was bare, so you could see what they looked like, and I was playing with them, but I was like, wait, where did these, where did they come from? And my mom was like, I found them outside, and I'm like, no, what's, this? oh my god, no, 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 and then, um, I heard this voice, and it was a male, and it said, we are so strong that we can um, choke you, or something like that, and then I looked at my dad, and he was just floating, and he was being choked, and I was like, oh god, this is not good, and then I went to my, my front door, because I knew somebody was behind the door, and I was going to say my language to stop them from doing what they were doing, but I woke up. And the only thing I saw was the being's hand, and it was blue and furry, and it had a leather glove on. Is there any explanation for what was happening? Because I feel like it was the dad, and he was really mad. <laughs> Your dream. This is a, it was not an actual event, but it was a symbolic dream in many directions. Um, the 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 most important sections of the dream were the playful parts with the aliens, which will happen one day, but the choking of your father was very significant because he cannot speak about the aliens at this time. They have, he knows they exist, but he will not ever admit it at this point. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. And so that is why you see his throat is tightened. He will not speak of it. But yet he has had the experience of them and has already had a visitation from extraterrestrials, not myself. But he cannot speak of it and will not speak of it at this time. So wait, is he the aware of it? The very fact that he, the things... Yes. Oh. But he will not speak of it. That little... I knew it. I knew it. Oh, my gosh. I guess I shouldn't say anything, However, though. that is the yes. most important part of the dream. There are several other symbolic things that were happening in the dream that I will let you think about first. But the fact that you they came from outdoors is the, the symbol of coming from outer space into your life. Yes. So th that is also a symbol. There's many symbols there. I could not grasp them all, but they are, there are many. And many of them are obvious. So look at the dream as a whole. And behind the door, when you th see anything behind a door in this kind of a dream, it is that which is hidden that you are revealing. Do you understand? Yes. Thank you. And the, and the hand with the glove is reaching out to you for this event that is coming to you. Ah, thank you so much. Yeah. Namaste, Tukur. I love you. I love you too. No more. <laughs> Sarah? I'll see you telepathically. Hello. Hello. Yes, who is speaking? It's Sarah. Hello, Takara. Namaste, Sarah. Namaste. I love you. I love you as well. <laughs> yes, I had a question. I I feel like I was visited. 
by two of my hybrid children in a dream. Yes. Um, they looked human with afros, because I have an afro as well. Yes. Um, they looked like twins, but one was about, he looked to be about 11, 12 years old, and the other one about six, seven years old. This is correct, yes. In that area, not exactly, but yes. Not exactly. Not exactly seven years old, no. He's actually only four. Oh, very nice. Uh, where did they come from? From you, of course. I'm talking about uh, what is their hybridization? One is Pleiadian human, the other is Yugil human. They both look very more, much more human than they do alien. But they look you so much strong, alike. They look like twins. That you have strong traits that they have. Oh. They have both incurred or have occurred within them. And they're both dancers. <laughs> that I do not. They remember. are dancing up a star. <laughs> I believe they were just joyful to see you. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> they are beautiful dancers. Yes, they are joyful. Joyful. Okay. They wanted to make you happy. They feel that your life is too sad. Yes, I understand. Their your life is too third dimensional at this time. You have a great fourth dimensional energy which comes to you in great great amounts, but your third dimensional life pulls you that away from you. However, these children will help you with your joy and to move up through that and create a universe that is more perfect for you. Thank you. You are greatly loved. Thank you. That is very much appreciated. Brian? Namaste, Dicker. How are you, my friend? Namaste, Brian. It is good to see you again. Oh, thank you. So much, but so much short time here. So I'll guess be very direct. Yes. Um, all my life, I've had contacts, interactions in the dream time. Yeah. Many different races, um, many different ships over time. Yeah. Um, what is the significant with them and me in this moment now? In this moment now, you are, believe this or not, Brian, you are in training to be a great teacher. You teach many things on the colony. You speak many wise words to people. Although you do not speak a lot, the words that you do speak have great meaning and res resound in people and resonate with them. They may not always say so. They may not always say so. But you are a great teacher. I do have one thing for you. Your son is being visited constantly. He is now a little more used to it. He is not as afraid. Exactly, yes. Logan. Tell him how much you love him and that this is an action of love from others and that he will never be alone because of this. Thank you. You will learn to use this friendship in a very positive way in his life. Yes. As you will learn to speak to his friend and give him wisdom through him. Understood. Do not be afraid of any of the wisdom of the extraterrestrial colonies societies, communities, or individuals. For you can understand what they are saying and how to move that information to others. Your kindness and sincerity and compassion yes. is a great help for your message because it is part of it. Yes, I, I, 
I could feel that I've been trained for many years in this lifetime. Just a lot of remembrance, you know, to bring that to this planet now. Continue to move forward. Just be casual. Because yes. it will come to you as it comes to you. Understood. Many blessings to you. Namaste. Thank you. Peace be with you. Namaste, Dagra. Namaste. To Kerr, uh, Sarah has a quick question that she forgot to ask. Continue. Yes. Um, what are their names, the Pleiadian and the Yayel? You must name them. Okay. They do have alien names, but if you name them, they will have the names that will connect you to them in a greater way, and they to you. May I know the the older's name? Because I'm not sure if I want to change it. Yes. Corlen. Cor Corlen. K-O-R-L-Y-N. Corlen. Len. Thank you. Corlen. I believe it's pronounced. Corlen. Um, do you want to I, keep that name? I, I want to keep that one for him. Corlen, yes. I, I have another Yael child. That's yes. correct. The older one is Yael? Yes. Okay. Um, I would like to do the same thing that I did for the last one, just give him my last name. Yes. Tell it to me again so that I may get the spelling correctly. Oxidine, O X. I D I N E. Oxidine. Yes. Duka, what a sure. It has been oxidized. Thank yes. you. Continue. Okay. Um, Takur, I had, I had a, another question. Um, the other day, I channel an entity, and what we believe was um, doing um, like a blessing for the earth, something to do with the earth. Yes. Um, and it was interesting because Prana got a visual, Katie got a visual, and and um, Kim got words. Mm -hmm. um, that was for you, yes. What were the visuals? Um, Prana saw like a white, like a marble floor, um, an open, open room, uh, and Katie saw a being in the middle, uh, a person in the middle, and the rest of them were around them. Yeah. Um, and she also saw a light coming from that being. Yes. Um, and, and what were the words? Because this is exactly how the classes are set up on Colony One. Okay. Um, I can tell you the words. Um, what the... One moment, please. While you find your information, I must leave for one moment. Okay. Dear Oh, my God. Where the words, where the words. Can you send it to me? This is going to be. 
it is all right. The words are not necessary. Yeah, so what we weren't sure was if the entity, if this was Atlantean or Lemurian. Gruyakasha took her in regards to all mm -hmm. of my infinite aspects for confirmation for all in this now moment. Yes. Continue. Okay, so so um, we weren't sure about if it was an Atlantean, it, it was an Atlantean um, entity that was that was doing this. Um, well, it was like a ceremony of sorts. There is um, guide. Yes, the ceremony would it would appear to be a ceremony. Yes, a guided meditation with other things added to it that do not happen on your planet would seem to be like a ceremony but it was actually a guided meditation <laughs> for you to enter into colony one in a different way I will explain that later okay. however it was for you and the people that were there at that time it was the perfect alignment of colonists that had to hear that and understand it do you understand? Yes. Yes. It was an alignment of thought patterns, and it did come from another area that you are not familiar with. However, Syrians did play a part in that, and so did Andromedans play a part in that. And the other ones that you mentioned are similar to those beings but you do not realize how similar so it is understandable that you would think that they would come that way that the Fendorians <coughs> okay all right yeah cuz um, I believe they said they saw them dressed in in uh, white uh, that would be the Fendorians but there was others helping them. There was a reason for this. Okay. Um, all right. Next is thank you, Tukur. I appreciate that. I was just trying to get some clarity. Kwata kwashmiya. Ta shiakoto ohotoa anshiakoto kolo otoko ashianana harioto koha. Ata pok si bakra. Continue. Um, John is next. Or Tyler? I, I'm sorry. Taylor. Okay, how are you? Fine. How are you, Taylor? I'm good, thanks. Um, I had a dream last night. I saw a white disc and I saw a green disc, and I was wondering what was the significance of it. The white disc is significant of actually this was a chakral dream your green disc was the heart chakra the white disc was the ascended spiritual realm you are connecting your heart chakra to a different realm of spirit at this time white is a spiritual element beyond the human frame and existence. Do you understand what I am saying? And they pre they presented themselves as disks, almost like flying unidentified objects to you. But it was a message about your chakra connections. There is a person in your life that is causing you to move up in spirit and they are attached to your heart. Does this make sense to you? Yes, yes it does, Dakar, thank you. Uh, I had one more question. Yes. Uh, last two, Actually, it was about two weeks ago. I had a dream where I had uh, an entity say, we have so much love for you. And I was just wondering who they were. 
The Centurions. Centurions. The people oh, okay. from Sirius have so much love for you. You have some elements of their thought processes within you. You have a very gentle nature, which they find very close to their heart. Also, in that same dream, there was a ship, and it felt like I wasn't human. I've got. It felt like I was transformed into energy, and my energy was combining with my brother's energy. And I was just wondering if that had anything to do with what I just said. It is a sign that you are becoming telepathic with him. Oh. Okay. The combining of energies with any other person is a sign of telepathy. Do you understand this? It yes. may not happen right now, but he is willing to share your energy in that sense where your chakras are united. And you are having chakral and spiritual awakenings right now, and this is part of your telepathy and part of your learning from Colony One. Thank you, Dakar. No, Akata. No more stay. No more stay. No more stay, Dakar. Yes. Sean is next. Sean from Ireland. Actually, Dan's next. Dan. You bought. Woo-ha, Dakar. Woo-ha. I have two questions. Uh, one's a personal one, and one is a little bit more business related. Nembaku, yes. Um, the first one, uh, the personal one, is I had I've been having dreams regarding um, what could be telepathic and telekinetic powers. Um, in these dreams, I've been, I guess embracing a bit more of a reptilian side and developing uh, psychokinetic uh, abilities involving uh, moving objects, even the ability to halt people. Um, people that come to attack me in my dream, I was able to just put my hand on their shoulder and say sleep, and then they would just drop to the floor and sleep. No harm, no pain, nothing. They would just sleep for, you know, they would just sleep for a couple of minutes, and by that point, I'd already moved on. Um, I was wondering, uh, I kind of get an idea of the significance of it, but I was um, a little bit more uh, pondering the idea of why I've been given like combat abilities and things like that. Yes. You are having... <laughs> this is going to sound a little different than anything I've said to anyone before. But you are having futuristic dreams. Not of this lifetime, but of 12 generations from now. The reason for this is that you have some connection to that generation. You have connections telepathically to many things in the future. And your telekinesis will be fully become fully aware, perhaps even in this lifetime. However, that is not recommended. <laughs> that okay, I is, but it is actually a realistic thought with you, because there are certain awakenings within your fourth dimensional element energies that touch upon the telekinetic side of your personality, of your, of your brain that is not open to many. In fact, very, very few. Does this make any sense to you? Yeah, I got the, um, I got kind of a bit of a download at the same time of it as well, so I think it will it'll catch up to me at some point when but it conscious, the, consciously the comes in. The reptilian side will be the, is the 12 generations ahead because you do have some reptilian allies and other things 
Yeah. As you already know. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Thank you very much. Reptilians do not all have telekinesis, as you are aware. Yeah. But they can develop it. And in 12 generations, you will, you will be back. One I am intrigued by the fact that you have had such a far futuristic thought. Yeah, it's just bringing it all back to live in the now that seems to be the issue. Yeah. <laughs> you can live in the now very effectively. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Um, now on to business. Um, I've been asked by my contacts um, working with the, the idea of uh, an environment room. Um, I was hoping to speak to Disdu about this because it's more more down his street. But yes. um, being from Gert Fitnir, um it's kind of seeing on the... Uh, there's a doorway between the Gert Fitnir colony. I'm not sure whereabouts it is. Um, yes. Though it's, it's actually more than one. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's uh, connecting between uh, this this idea of an environment, environmental colony itself. And I was wondering on the... Uh, bear with me one moment. You're quite that. Yeah, how, how is it going down um, between the Gertfindner colonies and the environment colony? Is there is the connection up and running? Is the doorways working? That that connection is it is not considered a colony. It is a connection, and it is running well. And there are those coming through it to collect samples and do readings in a much closer way than we can possibly do from this ship. So therefore, it is an a ship to Earth connection. Yes, and it is very effective. Wonderful. I'll I'll pass that on. Um, thank you very much, Tuka. You are welcome. My love to you as well, and my, my love to no and more love to Barbara. No more Take stay. Care. So, on, so on. It's next. Okay. Hello, Tuka. Much love. Much much love to you, Sean. I no have more. a. Yes, I am fine. How are you? I am well. I have a question about yeah. the Vandorians. The which, what species? Vandorian. Ah, the Vandorian. You asked my question, yes. Yes. Go ahead. Am I connecting to them as yeah. in this moment? Yes, you are. Actually, you are, yes. How did you know? What is the sensation that humans get connected to Fandorians? It's like my root chakra, energy from my root chakra is going into it, and it's going up into all my other chakras, and going out, out of my third eye, out of my crown chakra, and then back and it's like in a circle. Ah, that is what it feels like, interesting. They are very high dimensional creatures, and therefore, yes, I would imagine that they would move within your chakras quite easily, and manipulate them as well. You are being brightened. Your chakras are being brightened for greater sensitivity, and that is why you are able to feel them in this way but they are working with you. They see some potential with Fendorian connection with you. Much love. Much love. Mo no more stay and remain as open as you are right now because you are one of the most open of all of these people. 
your connection to the sky is extra special in some ways. Do you understand that? Yes, I understand that. Continue to be open and loving and giving. You are a purer spirit than most. Thank you for this information. It has helped me understand. Very good. Max was next. Thank you. Uh, can you tell more about Fendorians? Uh, so once someone mentioned that Seven of Nine has uh, had a Fendorian DNA, but, but I don't know anything else about them. Fendorians are very high. They're almost fifth dimensional as well. In fact, they may be even considered fifth dimensional. They are um, a highly intellectual nature and very little emotion at this point. They're in trust in your planet is for emotional values. They do want to gain more emotions that they have lost over the centuries, as you would call them. Here. Yes. They would like to react, reconnect with emotions and thought patterns that are different than pure logic and intellect. They do have a very, very small amount of emotions, but it is nothing in comparison, maybe one eighth or tenth of what you feel. So they would like to enhance that. And through Sean, they are able to feel the full spectrum of emotion uninhibited and not at all jaded. Does that make sense? Yes. His innocence yes. and purity helps them understand the basics of human emotion. So he is definitely with them. It would help greatly to visualize them. Can you tell anything about their appearance? They are would seem as a wisp of air to you, but a wisp of air that has some <laughs> density but not much. You would be able to see them but they would move, it would appear that they are always moving. But are they human looking? No. Oh. They are more energy looking actually. Have they been before human looking? They came from a position that was more alien looking actually than human. Ah. Do they, are they our ancestors in any way? That is unknown. Mm -hmm. There is a possibility, but the, their history is so long that we have not gone that far back. Uh, so they're not involved in practical aspects like uh, wars and uh, control of solar system? Wars are illogical. They would not be involved in war. It's not logical for them to fight over things that are free, such as freedom, love, understanding. They do feel these things and understand them. Why fight for them when you have them in nature and they are natural? This is their understanding of these things. All things that are free and natural should not be fought over but shared. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, Jim had a visitation last night a tall looking aliens were walking around his apartment. Can you share any explanations? That is interesting because we know that they were Pleiadians. Mm -hmm. But they were not from Grukvikneer. They were not aliens that we are associated with. But they are <laughs> Pleiadians in many in the Pleiadian area that are not part of our alliance. Uh -huh. They were trying to understand why um, he is such a channeler of Chikani. They saw his Chikani channeling and were interested in his connection and how he We were studying it and they he saw them and then they put him to sleep immediately. He did not see them after that. Uh -huh. They got their answer, though. Oh, so how was he connected? 
I don't know. They didn't tell me. They just said they got their answer. Okay. I understand his connection better than they do. So. All right. Another scientific curiosity of mine is how did you do determine uh, Sabrina's uh, bir birthday hour? Was there a technology? What which technology did you use? It is in. It is in their technology. The hospital keeps records, uh -huh. and therefore I just found the hospital with the records. It is no longer in their system, of course, but I can shadow their past informations. Nice, nice. I, I just wondered how easy would it be just it to look... It is also in her biological clock. Yeah. Yes. It's also in her biology, which I use to cross-reference. Ah. Yeah, because for us, it's uh, and I always try to re reconstruct uh, astrology from behavior, and I always fail. But I wonder if your technologies would allow that. To a certain extent, yes. But there is always relativities, or what is the word? Mm, conditions. There are always conditions that will change the outcome of every situation if given them. Mm -hmm. So you cannot actually know for sure what traits will be from point A to point B. Takar. I just want to look at the vibration of the soul at my... It's the vibration of the soul does not matter at earlier points. It matters in the later parts. I see. Okay, but I have one more question if you... I, unless it's urgent. Gabe, can you wait? Hello, I've, I've been waiting patiently. Um, all right. Greetings, Takur. Yeah, all right, go ahead. Uh, so now a turn of uh, JC. Continue. Hello. Yakasha, Takur. Koka, what the Vuataha, Arakakosh, India. Era. Ka. Continue. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you very much for this gift that you just sent to Kerr. I am completely open in the strongest allowances. And I feel that's in we every... can't hear you. Are we here fine? Are we here fine? To Kerr. Yes. The experience that Sabrina spoke of with the guided meditation. Yes. What was felt is I, f I feel the knowing of the remembering of this being an aspect of myself channeling this being that was doing the guided meditation. This is one of the aspects I feel is at the colony, specifically colony one, yes. at all times to have access for in order to connect with myself as well as all of the universal beings in the universe, if you will. Yes. This is the guided meditation for the teachings, yes. But some people are connected with it from the earth as well because it is a strong guided meditation that can be employed on the earth as well and give great benefit. I have been feeling strong connections, messages in a dream state, meditative states, while meditating with crystals of the Rainbow Collective. Also, um, I perceive as the Ascended Master Collective Consciousness, yes. as well as messages from the Crystal Skull Collective, and more in particular, the the rainbow skull and the adamant skull. Yakota. Yes. Hitaka. Oh. Yes. I am open completely yes. to the in the strongest manners of this offer. Continue. Mind, body, and soul. And totally not. You will be moving off planet sometime for a while in your spirit. 
there is a need for you to be off planet for a little while. This is what I am feeling in this moment as well. I have been receiving very confirming emails that I know have been sent directly from Source in the other mentioned collectives and I am completely open to these invitations and offers so as to begin what Sister Sarah and I were talking about in previous now moments. Yes, understood. That will remain between the two of you for now. It is more the confirmation that the emails to be get to begin the manifesting of in the infinite nature of the material for these yes. ideas. Yes. I must go shortly. Is there someone else? Okay, Bill. There's okay. Oh, all right. Yes. There's many talking at once. Gabriel, go ahead. Gabriel, go ahead. Be quick. Gabriel. All right. Hi, Jan. Okay. Hello, Takar. Right. Much love to you. Much love. Uh, was Cola involved with the event that? Sad, sad I cannot hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Can, can you repeat? We lost you. Can you repeat? Okay. Was uh, Cola invi involved with the, the event that Sad, sad uh, Reno was talking about? Did you get it? I didn't understand the word. Okay. Do you hear me? Or I what? hear, but I don't understand the word. Did the caller was involved? Blah blah blah. I cannot understand. Can you repeat? You know the event that Sabrina was describing, the guided meditation event. Yeah. Was Cola involved? There were many involved. Okay, I connect it to yes. you. Not directly, but yes. Okay. And uh, my, uh, my hybrid child, have you received her name? What is the name of your hybrid child? And I will let you know. There are many hybrid children right now. I am not attached to that information. But I will speak to you, yes. Uh, the connection is getting weaker, and I am starting to fade. Therefore, I cannot get as much information at this time. Was that the response to me? I will continue with you later. I am not getting much information through right now. All right, uh, Takur. Uh, Takur, a friend of mine uh, uh, has a problem with um, joints and consider artificial joint replacement. If you look at Jim's memory, you will find that that was discussed very recently. Yeah, what can mean? can you give uh, can you give an advice whether it's advisable to proceed with that? It was not discussed with Jim, but I do know who you mean. Barbara. Yes. We would have to do a scan and see if that would be appropriate. Tepat would have to do that. At this time, I cannot say for sure. However, I would not recommend it for the moment until a scan is done. Mm. Um, Do you understand? Yes. I would like to have Tepes scan to see what is the elements of the 
degradation of the joints. Is there one more question? Yes. Sarah, that's okay. Um, yesterday, while in the hangout, a, an entity came into me. Yes. And apparently it was connected to Alexandria. Yes. And I was wondering, one, who may that entity have been? And two, um, is that a common occurrence that one entity may jump into another? It is not a common occurrence. It was a one of them you are aware of as the name of Arusha. Arusha. Oh, okay. And the other was also from the same world, Kalaka. Kalaka. There was a reason. They were experimenting with different chemicals to help you raise your joy level. There is many aliens concerned about your well-being. Oh, thank you. Uh, but the entity felt reptilian. Because there were two of them, it comes in strong, and it feels like something that it is not. Ah. Do you understand? Yes. But there is a reptilian around you. It just did not come into you. Pardon, to yeah. her, would you be able to elaborate more along the end of okay. what messages are needed um, to be passed along for Sarah, Alexandria, and those involved in the moment? Information is coming. I cannot share it at this time. It will become apparent. Thank you. Thank you. I have to leave. Thank you, very, Thank much. you very much. Love you. Love you, Takara. As Thank always, you, and to gratitude, appreciation. I will give you that blessing. As a colony grow together, let your love pass between you and your energies touch one another when physical touch is not found. Find it in yourselves to love yourself so greatly that you cannot help but love the rest of the universe. And find it in yourself to give of yourself in a way that makes you feel like a part of everything. Don't make it hurt. Make it feel wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you. Namaste. 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 Ooh-ha. Ooh-ha, okay. <sighs> hey, Jim. Hello. Hello. Welcome, Hello. Jim. Welcome back. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Oh, yes. Thank you. <coughs> Drank too fast. <laughs> <coughs> oh, my gosh. Is that Tim Hortons? Hmm? <laughs> what you're drinking? Tim Hortons coffee, yes. Oh my god. Why? Is this? You like Tim Hortons coffee? That would be in a uh, uh, place. Yes, there's two, the of there. there's two Tim Hortons right at, within a mile. Sounds like Jim's first plug. Sounds like Jim's exactly. first plug. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's like an advertisement. That's what's up. Yeah. Time to get paid, Jim. Time to get paid. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Time to get paid. I'm I'm calling Tim right now. 
<laughs> hey, hey, we don't have to call him. It's awesome to telepathic message, and it'll just bug him until he finally finds it, you know, through synchronicity. It's like, I'm oh, gonna, that's yeah. what it is. I'm just going to say, <laughs> young dude, I just gave you a couple hundred hits there, you know? <laughs> so... No, anyway. I think you could hit him up. He's probably, I think he passed away by now. So yeah. <laughs> talk to him. Oh, no. He still has to be a president of the company somewhere. <laughs> okay. Um, wow. I'm, that's, that was long. <laughs> it's yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. One and a half hours. Plus, minus. Boy. It's getting longer and longer. All these sessions are getting longer and longer. So there's a lot of work going on in Colombia. Donations are welcome. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, thank you for mentioning that. Um, it is. Uh, let me say something about. I don't want anybody to feel obligated if you, you ask a question to pay a donation if you don't have the money. That's not what this day is about. But if you want to help us out with all the things that we need, please feel free to help us with a donation. But if you do not have a donation or you do not, and you have questions, you can ask questions without giving a donation today because this is the free webinar. Donations are requested, but they're not necessary. That's, uh, I don't want people to feel that they guilty if they ask a question and don't give a donation. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. It's been spread around yes. that, oh, I can't ask a question if I don't give a donation. No, not true. If you don't have the money, that's why we're here for the free seminar. But if you feel like you got something out of it, if you feel like it was speaking to you, if you feel like you, you have some money that we could use, which we could, uh, feel free to donate. Um, but I am not making it like, oh, you can't ask a question without paying. No, I'm not doing that. But I am saying it's up to your heart. Let it resonate with you. You know what I mean? Yeah, there are some, yeah. some people that give every week, some people that never give. And you know what? We don't keep track. Um, no. I actually keep track. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, whatever comes through the joint account, I... Spend the but I do keep track yeah, because it goes to him. Jim kind of begged me, Max, can you finally uh, uh, give me the donation money? Yeah, I give you the so <laughs> for the for, for the couple of weeks. I mean, since the end of August, um, I spent an hour because it was in, in August it was very quiet. But now I get lots of small donations. Thanks everybody very much. Lots of small like every. I mean, it's a, so so much pleasure to see you know this coming. Thanks everybody, and I had to do the count because it was like three or four projects. Thanks for donating for Slava's uh, hard drive. So now he backs up all these videos. He got a he will get a terabyte hard drive. Thank you for that. Thanks for uh, donating to jo John Lennon's music project. Thank you for donating for the website um, maintenance or whatever it is. Uh, providers, uh, service provider, monthly fees or whatever, yearly fees. Oh my fees. goodness, you have so many different donations. Yes, and and uh, <laughs> and that was a pleasure. Usually I pay and I like I feel sad, and here I paid and I asked and uh, people paid and it was just you no, know, I'm out of there. Uh, Calculation basically. I just asked and it came. Thank you for that. And there were donations for Jim, Jim and Max, and for Max individual, for Jim individual, which I think makes a lot of sense. Uh, thanks everybody. So, but it's not huge. Um, so basically, after all the calculation, Jim got seventy dollars in donations. So it's not seven hundred. We wish it was seven thousand or seventy thousand, <laughs> but we are not yeah. there yet. Someday. 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 Uh, but, the, but the thing is, uh, if we ever get enough to have like a seven thousand dollar donations we would be giving back to others um, it, it's not it's not that we're gonna be selfish with it but we I would love to have enough money to be able to help others I work with the homeless I work with other charities and things and I just um, feel led I mean sure I'd like to have a little extra of course if you don't have enough imagination if you got money you would you give them away I would give some of it away, yes. yes. No, the proper ways to give it away is action. 
Yes. Employ. Hey guys, you guys, Employ. this is awesome. Yeah. This is awesome. This is this is L. Um, I've been getting a lot of contacts from L in regards to um, the first chakra and just right now a lot of uh, I feel or at least I personally feel that I would feel much more safe and secure <clears throat> if I knew that my bank account you know either had enough zeros in it that I can take care of my <laughs> one, as well as take care of my Hikolo family and the and the world and the universe so I'm starting with the baby steps and there are some really miraculous things you know taking you know happening and I'm just I'm just asking um, I, I, I what I'm asking for is just support and um, with just you know all the positive ideas it doesn't have to be voiced to myself but just a telepathic message to you know L to myself to whoever we feel would be able to assist us in this um, flower of life in regards to the the gift of infinite um, abundance of um, material um, material needs for our benevolent ideas of, you know, creating churches, create, um, being able to travel around the world and, you know, go to different ancient tribes and learn their healing techniques, their healing sounds, learn how they communicate with the earth and their spirits and their spirit guides. And this yeah. is just something I really feel lately. I, I felt, I feel like the best way to put it is like there's money, but I'm like, wait, it does no good to be around me. I need it in me. And the more I'm starting to realize that we are the liquid gold, you know, so to speak. And the more we feel this and know this and express this, embody this, we are the source of the material. So since money is literally invisible, I'm asking for help with receiving a download as to how to receive and then if you will manifest more into our bank accounts and others bank accounts as well that we trust are going to do benevolent things so as to use these invisible bills to start you know um, you know buy or you know not buying or you know using the bills to um, contract you know people to build so it supports you know, a company and the people that it's not just benefiting the one, it's benefiting the all and it'll help us in the baby steps into what it is we want to accomplish down here, you know, individually and as a group. And when it comes down to it, we all want an earth to still live on. So we got to really start putting our ideas and efforts into sustainability. And that's what's going on. It's just a little more focus and shift in ideas and not everyone can get on the same bandwagon, the same idea, but, or however, just a couple people, you know, getting together on one idea, getting in complete resonance, and then sharing it, and as we share, as long as we don't focus too much on the actual idea, just use it as energy and idea as a trampoline, the springboard to build the energies necessary to manifest into the compressed third density to build our churches, our hospitals, our schools, um, provide for the needy, um, provide for our families, provide for ourselves. And yes. It's just and, and also visit each other. So yes. love to visit yeah. all of you really. Yes. And that um that I believe that will someday happen. But what he's talking about is the law of attraction and building our own universe and asking, uh, believing, visualizing, and receiving, we all have that capability. So I know that it happens for me all the time, and it happen it's happening for a lot of you too. So um, the law of attraction is so fabulous. I just love it. I can talk about it for hours. But um, yes, but the thing is, we're all connected together. We're all touching each other's energies. And, and we're all building friendships in this colony that are undeniably strong and cannot be separated. I know that there's some friendships here that cannot be broken. And that is a wonderful, wonderful thing. So, And it, we were talking about donations, but I got off the topic. But it, I just feel that you're all such a special community. I just love it. Do you want to see? Yes. <laughs> All right. So practically, how that translates into action? 
action. Yeah, yes. Takur said, Max, you're you know person of action, right? Yes. You can't wait. I mean, if there is an idea, you want to do it right away. Yes. That's so true. right away, uh, connect to each other, exchange emails, Skypes, Skype IDs, telephones, connect to individuals, and group together, organize. Uh, it's not permitted to chat while I'm speaking. <laughs> no, it's impolite. All right. I was I'm done. quiet I'm done. when he was speaking. I'm done. So <laughs> you just uh, connect to each other, right? Yes, you connect to each yeah, other. Yeah, right. Yes. Because we are like right now 300 people, and we want to grow to 3,000. And if just 3,000 people join us at the moment, it will be such a mess. So the only way we can accommodate 3,000 people is if we organize, self-organize. And I'm. I cannot take any more emails like that. Already, I'm happy. Thank you very much for writing to me. There is so much support coming these days. But, you know, it has to come not only in my mailbox. It has to be among you guys. We already have a welcome team. Thank you, Sabrina, for organizing it. Now, we, you know, if something comes to me which answer others can answer, I just shoot it, shoot it to another 10 people and they get it and they answer and thank you very much that's how it's supposed to work so I put my face and my email there but you know if I can I re I forward it to others and it works it works it's great so I kind of work not as a receiver but as a sender yeah sender yeah trans receiver you're, you're the middle guy channel. yes I'm channeling the email <laughs> Right. In the email form. That's how Max. That's awesome. But but uh, basically, if more people like Sabrina, put their faces there, put their names, and say, you know, send it to me. We will welcome new people. We'll connect. You will take care of building the. It's it's building process. Uh, so do that. So recently, someone said, you know, how can I help? And it was so so wonderful. And I made a whole page. How can you help? And you go there, pick what is dear to you and organize that thing and that is uh, I guess you know the answer to how the money will come I mean they will come in numbers I mean when you have bigger community they will be bigger numbers yeah, like Max, Jim, yes um, I, I would also like to stress that I understand everybody can donate but you know in exchange you could possibly do some work in the website do some volunteer Volunteer in there, yes. um, and I'm sure Max listed all the things that you could do. So yes. if you pick something that you enjoy doing, and 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 commit a couple of hours to it, that will be yes. great. Yes. Yeah, people kind of come. Uh, it often happens. People come and expect that I will guide them, and I will spend as much time as they need on guidance. And you know, my time is. Gone. I'm. 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 No. I don't have any extra time. So the idea is that you come help, and you, you, you work as your own leader. You become a leader. You become your own supervisor. And you know, some people come and they can work. Like Slava, he does need a supervisor. Slava works almost full time for us right now. If you can have, <laughs> if you haven't seen his creation, he took all our videos, downloaded them. Now he chops them into topics, like one video into ten videos. And then he created a new YouTube channel where he puts all the small 10 minutes or 15 minutes or 30 minute topics and makes a playlist on uh, on Lirons, on Priyadians, on Yael, on Ascension, on uh, prayer. That's you know that's a work for many people, but Slava does it by himself, and it is something absolutely incredible. And it happened last week. I mean, it was you know he was preparing for that. He built. He built a site, so it's all there. And it's all announced. And it's hours and hours and awesome. hours yes. of work. Yes, of work. Yes. You like Slava. Thank you like so Max. much. I've like enjoyed it very much. Be your own supervisor and commit to do real work. Well, and I, another idea okay. is what are what are some what are some what are some ideas we could. You know, or I guess you already have, but I guess we can just talk about it together at, in our groups and just brainstorm from here. Yeah. And someone has suggested yeah. that we take maybe all of Takur's channelings and put it into a book form. 
Uh-huh. I take all of Shell's channeling, put it into a book form so that people can read it. Because some people can read it and get more out of it than listening to it or has, or get let it balance in their brain better if they read it. It saturates in better. And I love to write. Pardon me, Jim. I love to write. If, 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 if we could just brainstorm it as a group, um, what we feel would be, you know, beginning, middle, and end, I would... I would I yes, uh, this, it, I, I never, I never thought of doing that with uh, a, you know, like a Descur or a Lacash or a Shell or some, just taking somebody's mate- all what they said and put it into a book and and bringing it into light for somebody to read about Descur and how she perceives the universe and speaks to humans and such things of that nature. And I thought it was an interesting idea. So I I don't know how that you would do that, but uh, sit down and type. <laughs> yeah, there is a transcription group. Uh, Slava is supervising publishing the transcription things. So and uh, we have uh, help from Liney and others who do the transcription. So very well, this yes. guy from England, I think. Uh, something his name was with D, Danny, or something. He... No, there was oh. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Danny, yes, Danny is doing a lot of annotations. Yes. So there is some group of people who, do, who is doing that and just join them. There is a transcription group, so join them and or self-organize and just do I, it. And thank you. So many of you do so much work. I, I appreciate it. And yeah, I would also like to know that if, because there's a lot of, a lot of uh, writing going on the website, so if you see questions, can you forward them to me? You know, questions to ask during the webinar. Can you uh, forward them to me? Because I don't always see all the posts, so I miss questions sometimes. For these questions, uh, there are two ways to manifest them, to f- structure them. Where's the mouse? It's okay. Where is? Oh, so one way is it's gone again. Where is the mouse? Right here. All right. I'll, throw, I'll, I'll throw this. Yeah. Uh, I'm an open channel myself too. I know Jim is busy. Um, if um, all I really need is someone or a group to co-create with, so if there, uh, if there are questions that are needing to be answered or ideas to be explored, just feel free to contact me on Google Plus. I have a question, you know. question for the crystal crystal webinar workshop you want to do. Have you decided yes. Wednesday or Thursday? Well, we could do it on Wednesday and Thursday, whatever. I, we can do one every day. Um, I love crystals, and I love. I always walk around with them and communicate with them and build grids. So um, that was actually an idea that I was thinking about that you picked up on. Now, um, so yeah, just Wednesday, Thursday. I know that you have time constraints, and I really would like um, to be able to co-create with you and in this as well. So um, yeah, just whatever's. Whatever's we, we will post it in the site I for Wednesday, and we will take it from there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just let me know. I'm I'm Pacific time zone, so you just let me know what time, and I'll be ready in there. We'll Good. host. And we'll host one together. Good. Namaste. <laughs> Namaste. And and what's cool is just the crystal is just like the base idea, if you will, and there's just so many applications with crystals. Um, with meditating, with channeling their messages and their consciousness, um, grids, and there's so many different applications with grids. Also, if you build them on different colors, um, if you build a template, like a painting, a picture, um, <clears throat> there's just so many different applications, and it's so fun just exploring. Energy you know. grids are going to be very important to our future. Yes. Uh, I I'm finding that I I see energy grids in my head now when I sleep sometimes, and I see them as a working process of healing, of communication, of many different things that will come from energy grids. So um, okay. they have many many uses and will become very very important to our near future. Jim, yes. I, I, oh, Go ahead. No, sorry. I had a dream uh, of Jim last night twice. Uh, you came in my dreams, or I came in yours. I I'm not sure, but I was thank thankful for what you do. So maybe I want to tell it for the third time now. 
So I just want to thank you and thank Max and thank everyone for co-creating this and um, don't stop trying. We have to, we will do it. We are doing it, so yes. it's very exciting and every effort counts, every effort. It does. And, uh, how, how are the donations for the whole for the website? Are you um, are you making uh, are you succeeding with the donations? There, there is a page donate on the website on the left. Just click on the button and donate through PayPal. Is it there, what there, there there's a there's a lot of little ones, um, a little donations, right? A lot of little. You ones. define your own number. Just yeah. click on donate button. Well, she PayPal. was asking how it was doing. Some donations were needed for the for the hosting of the website. Like fifteen dollars was oh. was given as a number. That is already covered for now. Yes. Okay. We will this, have this. another project like music. John Lennon music music project would would be a great place to to donate. Yeah, we're, we are working on it. I feel, I feel the donations are going to be coming and. There's, there's, there's something like I said. There's something in the works, and I know it's, it's manifesting. And when it does, I have no, I, I have nothing but the need to just put a bunch of money out there for the Hukalo family, so okay. as to be able to distribute it as needed. Um, Sarah and I have already talked about <clears throat> um, where to allocate some funds. I have an idea of with the crystals, building our own crystal rooms down here for oh. different uses as well. Um, and I also have an idea with 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 this uh, flower of life of infinite material abundance that I feel I'm being trusted with, as well as many of many of us of the Hugula family, we just have to be open to it, to this idea that we are the source and that we're going to use these these invisible bills <clears throat> to use to truly manifest our material needs that we need to build the Hukulo family so as to be able to visit each other, to travel to these places, to Yes, yeah. to make it and uh, it yes. all depends from each and every single one of us, so even if we did, uh, donate five dollars, it's okay. Not, not it's even that, if we just donate our energy to the idea of that, hey, we are true manifestors, if we just start with the idea, of, hey, hey, L, Master of Finances, send us the download for how we can, you know, if we just put a penny or a dollar into our into our account or in our wallet and have faith and knowingness and remembrance that it's that money is asexual, it it, it, it asexually reproduces. So if we <clears throat> channel that energy into our accounts. Then it, for me, it's just this is my idea, and I'm just doing what I can to get out there. And you know, if people want to support it and explore it with me, awesome. It's just, all it's going to do is be nothing but positive, and you know, you. that's what we truly need as a group. And and it's truly going to and for the universe and Gaia and yeah, we we truly want to help each other out and help you know, help ourselves out. And this is you know this is a way I feel this is a baby step. And instead of, you know, the giant leap to take it all at once, start the baby steps and accumulate the energies and we have the consciousness and the imagination to put it into these ideas and thoughts and fully manifest. All right, we'll start the exit sequence. Time is for us to close. I will start the blessing and then uh, I guess uh, whoever wants to continue will continue after me. Okay. I, I want to you. please... Yes, go ahead. No, go ahead, go ahead. Do the blessing no. and then I'll continue. I bless you all. I wish you all happiness, health. Be a healer. Take a step. Take a look at everything as a healer. Feel the healing energy in your hands. Feel the healing energy in your heart. And whatever your focus of attention it is, Whatever is your focus of attention, send the healing energy to your focus of attention. And that will resolve many mysteries. It will help you think clearer. And it will help you to create a relationship to the problem you are solving. It will help you create a relationship to the creation you are creating. 
I bless you and I send you my friendship, my support, my love. Uh, be blessed and happy. Amen. Namaste. Asia katana na hatu, turua katana na ha. Turioko tono no ayatu ala kaskia to kokokoa. Tariana ka sukorua takarana niaka. Turiono koski aria katuaraka. Horiono kati aria katuaraka. Haskana na aria ka. Turuono koru koaraka. Haskana karioko utuoro. Hoskono no korokoa. Haskiana radio. Hoskono no korokoa. Horia asiokotono. Horia naka. Haskiro kotoro. Hosia atuo soko. Toriana ka siario, Torio so kotuo, Hariana ka siatuo, Horiana ka suonoko, Haria a kotuo, Hoskia atia, Haliana ka tuo soko. In your night sky, there are massive balls of energies and stars that have energies beyond your imagination, but yet you see them but a pinprick, a small light, but yet their energy is so vast. Even now you can draw on the universe and its energies to help you move forward in your ascension, in your guidance, in your universe that you are creating for each other and yourselves because alone you create your universe but together you create a community of universes together you will rise together you will understand and together you will draw on the energy that is only yours to have it is free it is not costing you anything to bring it down to you there is so much that you cannot see that will come to you in bursts of light, just like these massive stars. But you will understand that the energy that has been around forever in the universe can be connected to you in the most positive and enlightening way. Serio Koto. Well, have a good day, everybody. Have a day. Good day. Good day. Good day. From the three of you, it was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Have yes. a great day. Have a great day. Have a great day. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Love you all. Max, can you?